Not all novels need over-the-top drama, explosions, and suspense to keep readers captivated. Some stories have a quieter form of intrigue, and take a look in characters' lives to see the little secrets we all keep. So today I want to talk about one such novel, Newcomer by Kyogo Higashino, How to Read Like a Writer. Higashino's novel grabs readers' attention because of the characters, their secrets, and the eclectic Tokyo setting he chose. His novel also has a unique form that spirals instead of follows a straight line. These are all techniques you can learn to apply to your own writing. This is Ignited Ink Writing, a channel dedicated to helping authors like you transform your writing so it lingers with your readers, because writing that lingers gets remembered and recommended to others. I'm Caitlin Burvey, editor and writer. First, let's talk about spiraling around a murder mystery. Technically, Newcomer is a murder mystery. The inciting incident is when a woman is murdered in her apartment. Each character is somehow connected to this woman, even though they might not realize it until a detective comes to question them. But really, this novel is more than a murder mystery. It's about the cast of characters themselves, the secrets they keep, and community. One way Higashimo pulls this off is by using a spiral story structure instead of a linear one. In a traditional Western murder mystery, you have a linear trajectory where the detective or the sleuth is trying to solve the mystery by systematically working their way through a list of suspects. But that's not how this story works. Instead, readers follow the detective as he interviews different shopkeepers and learns how these people are connected to the woman. Higashimo starts with the people metaphorically farthest from the murdered woman and spirals in closer to her inner circle and to a potential suspect. This is why Newcomer is able to tell so many different characters' stories because it has this spiral structure and because we're constantly searching for that main suspect. The structure doesn't feel forced or contrived. The spiral is a natural approach to the story, and I think it's a reflection of the author's thought process. This novel is exploring the effect of a crime on a community, and it's looking at those ripple effects. It's also showing how people are connected in a web of those little tiny secrets and lies we tell each other just to get through the day. Many genres, like murder mysteries, have a fairly strict formula that authors are sometimes expected to follow. But what happens if you break out of that formula? What happens if you have a story that needs a different approach? Well, then you might be looking at something like Newcomer, that is about more than whatever your genre's typical story is about. And it might call for a different structure. So don't be afraid to approach your story differently, to look at it from a different perspective, because that might be the best choice for you. Next, I want to discuss character-driven. Every person has a story. Newcomer is about community connections and how people are connected to each other when they don't even realize it. Not only are these shop owners connected to the victim, they're also connected to each other. There's a web that's pulling this community together. Similarly, everyone has struggles and triumphs happening at any given point in their lives. Everyone is living their own story in Newcomer. At the same time, everyone has their own little secret. A white lie they might tell someone to avoid hurting their feelings. An indiscretion they're trying to keep hidden. Or maybe it's something embarrassing they're trying to mask. All of these secrets are seemingly small, but have a large impact on these people's lives. This works because Higashimo is a master at quick character development. These characters are immediately fleshed out when they step onto the page. 
because Higashimo knows their motivations so well, and he has captured those key pieces of their personality in just a handful of lines. What that means is each character is interesting. So a reader not only wants to know a little bit about them, they want to take those tangents to learn about these different families as they spiral closer to the murder mystery suspect. Character development is key to the success of the structure Higashimo chose. If you have well-developed characters, readers are often willing to go along with you when you experiment and try something else. So if you want to try something in your story, whether it's a different structure or some other experiment, make sure your characters are well-developed, they're fleshed out and easy to picture. So that piece of your story is well-developed and something readers can latch onto as familiar and use to interpret the other experimental choices you are making. Also remember, characters are gripping when they are real. They have strengths and weaknesses. They have flaws. They keep secrets. They might have made mistakes. These are things that make them interesting. Perfect people don't really exist, and we don't really like to read about them. Also, each person wants something out of a given interaction, out of life, out of the next day. So if you can bring that desire across, that'll show the stakes of the story for that individual character, which will up your tension, which will give you a sense of suspense, and it will make your story more interesting. It'll drive it forward. Character development is key to the success of any type of story. Next, I want to share how your setting is your game board. The setting is crucial to the success of Newcomer. The area of Tokyo Higashimo chooses to focus on gives that setting its own distinct personality, so the place almost becomes a character in its own right. This area of Tokyo is an eclectic mix of modern and traditional Japanese culture, whereas other parts of the city have completely modernized, this area still holds on to some unique and quirky pieces of Japanese culture. That's what gives it its own distinct personality. It also brings the setting to life in a way that if a reader found themselves in Tokyo in this neighborhood, they might even recognize it. Also, this particular story could not be told in a different setting. Only this area of Tokyo has the unique blend of family units and master apprenticeship relationships for these eclectic shops. Only these people would be able to be connected to the murder victim without necessarily realizing it. So this spiral story structure and this murder mystery itself could not really be told if Higashimo tried to pick it up and move it to a different area of Tokyo or another place altogether. The setting is vital to the story itself. So when you're picking a setting for your story, pay attention to these things. You want a setting that has a bit of a personality so that your reader can recognize it. It doesn't just feel like any place. It's the specific place your story is taking place. Likewise, your setting should impact your characters and vice versa. Certain people just won't live in certain places. So your story can't take place in a big city if your main character is someone who hates them and gravitates towards small towns. So remember to pick your setting so that it is the best place for your story. Also, certain structures just wouldn't work as well in certain places. If newcomer had been told in a more standard sort of neighborhood, this eclectic mix of shops wouldn't be there. So that spiral story structure wouldn't work quite as well. Think about your structure, your characters, and what your setting needs to do for your story before you just plop it in any old place. I want to leave you with why an editor recommends reading Newcomer. The techniques Higashino is using in this story can be applied to most stories. All types of people keep secrets for many different reasons. 
secrets are an opportunity for both internal and external conflicts. So your characters can keep secrets. Setting is also vital to the success of most stories. Where the story takes place impacts the events, the characters, the obstacles, even the stakes of your story. So picking the right place, like Higashino did in Newcomer, is vital. These are not genre-specific techniques. These are just good story techniques. So you can learn from them, see how he executed them, and apply that to your own writing. Higashimo's use of these techniques are subtle and masterful at the same time. His book is quieter than a lot of novels in the same category, which is what makes it so special. He doesn't need all the fancy bells and whistles. He can pull off this story by just being a great writer. Now, you might not execute these techniques in the same way, but you can still learn from them. Learning by reading is one of the best tools you have to improve as a writer. So, what techniques from Newcomer might you want to try in your own writing? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And for more videos on how to read like a writer and other aspects of writing, subscribe to Ignited Ink Writing a channel dedicated to helping authors like you transform your writing so it lingers with your readers. Because writing that lingers gets remembered and recommended to others. I'm Caitlin Burvey, editor and writer. To find out more about me, go to www.ignitedinkwriting.com. There you will also find a guide to building strong settings, which will help you develop that aspect of your story. And now it's your turn to think about the techniques Higashimo used and how you can apply them to your own story. You too can use well-developed characters who might have secrets, an interesting and unique story structure, and setting to ignite your ink.